Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Don't forget, if you like the video, click on like and subscribe and talk about it on chat lines, wherever it is your social media activities and help us to grow and help more people. I'll talk to you soon. Superstitious says, hi Mehran, 25 year old male from South Africa, I have HOCD and it feels real and I get sensations in my gut and tinglings, you know, I'm afraid of these thoughts and to act out on them and always afraid and worried, what if I get drunk and sleep with my gender or kiss another man? During my teenagehood, I have been straight, and till now, I even have a girlfriend. But when these images and homosexual sex scenarios pop up and be continuous, they really get me anxious and afraid and worried. What can I do, and what is your advice? Please help. Well, Superstitious, I have hundreds of videos that have addressed all these what you just talked about all you have to do go on my channel and type in in this search engine of my channel hocd you will have hundreds of videos and look at the titles to see which one fits the question you might have on that day watch that otherwise here i can't be talking about it in five minutes because it'll take a few hours so you can you're welcome to go on my site, mindthatseekstruth.com, www.mindthatseekstruth.com, and make an appointment for Skype chat, and we'll explore that on Skype. If you make an appointment for one hour, I'll throw in another half an hour myself, and we'll have plenty of time to cover the bases, and I explain the whole array of involvement of the components of the brain that causes that, and all the whys and questions that you have as much as our time allows. Otherwise, then you can make another appointment and so on. However, um, all the videos are available free of charge. I've done all that research, and I've done all that, uh, made all that effort to create all these library for you guys. So you guys will not fall into the trap of the HOCD and thinking that this is something real. This is malfunction of the signaling system of the brain and the fact that you're diehard heterosexual, and that creates a fear of losing what you love the most. In life, whatever you are most protective of, Whatever is most important to you is the one that you're most afraid and you become afraid and the brain attacks it and you create anxiety toward it. Because whatever you, is most important to you automatically comes with the fear of losing it. So if it's a home that you like, you're afraid if it's going to be foreclosed or you can't afford it. You can't continue paying the mortgage or maintain it. If it's your car you love, you'll be having a fear of it being scratched or get an accident or you lose it somebody steals you. If it's your girlfriend you love, you're worried about your wife or girlfriend leaving you. If it's your money, you always worry about what happens to my money, what if I don't have it? If it's your gender, but you always will be attacked by the opposite of what you are in that gender and the fear of not being what you always love to be. These are all natural feelings and reaction and the brain creates all these things, intrusive thoughts, in order to find security, because the brain does not find security in a secured physical environment like the body does, the brain finds security in occupation, in busyness. And how can it create occupation and busyness to feel safe? It's not by complimenting you. Oh, you're such a stud. Girls love you and you love girls. Yeah, thanks. True. But that's the end of the discussion. But if it tells you and creates anxiety or certain kind of a images all the time and gives you suggestion that you want to kiss another man, you'd like it, you know, try it and all that. Then it gets you engaged in a dialogue or refuting it or arguing with it. And all that creates that occupation, busyness, which it feels it's got a place. Because thoughts doesn't have a place in the body. It's not trained to know where in body it can reside and call it home. So it's always scattered. When it's scattered, cannot find security in being scattered around. So it tries to 
grab a hold, find a place to, to hang itself, to hold itself by busyness. That's the area that it can collect itself from being scattered around. When you have a thought, intrusive thought that focuses you there, the brain finds a home in a virtual world. So it's there. Now it knows where it is. Otherwise, it's all over. You can see your brain, your thoughts is all over. In the past, a year ago, something happened or conjuring up something for future or it's last week, what happened? I'm worried about my exam tomorrow. It's all over the place and has no tranquility, no... So it wants to be somewhere and doesn't have a where, doesn't have a place. So it creates this busyness to be collected and feel secure because I'm a whole. All of me is here. Brain itself is afraid. And of course, then we add the overactiveness of amygdala. We add the malfunction in the carotid nucleus in the striatum in basal ganglia. And we have all these other components malfunction in the signaling system. The anxiety and you being afraid of losing what you love the most with all these discussions of all other sexual lifestyles that is around, which wasn't around when I was a kid that much. It all creates dialogue and involvement of the brain. And all these topics become part of the inventory of the brain for the brain to constantly include that in the 80, 90,000 thoughts a day that it makes brain is a thought manufacturing plant and it doesn't make thoughts that you prefer or you're aware of. It makes thoughts because its job is to make thoughts and it doesn't even know what it makes. It just makes any thoughts, including thousands of intrusive thoughts in order to serve its own, which is to create that occupation business through which it can bring security for itself. There's a lot more to talk about, but again, it will go on for hours, and that's not the purpose of this gathering and this live stream. So, welcome to go and make an appointment with me, and we'll discuss it one-on-one -on, -one on Skype. Subscribe on my channel, visit my channel, and go through the videos that you might be interested in. Mindatsixtruth.com, making it one step away to talk to me one-on-one -on, -one on Skype and discuss what concerning you. I'll talk to you soon.